pastor that I really respect was talking about how he got a letter from a guy saying that he he's just not he did you know he's he's not being saved it's not working and the pastor straight up was like you know that's something wrong on his side right you know, god doesn't you know jesus didn't come down here to save sinners and to fail at saving sinners right you don't try to be saved and fail so something's wrong and he said you know we need to take accountability for our love for the love of sin that we have in our heart and he said maybe you just don't want it enough and oh, I was like, oh no, don't tell me that. Don't put the responsibility on my shoulders. But he was right. Right. You know, God, God did not come down here to fail at saving sinners. Right. And so it, yes. I was like, oh wow. I said, I said maybe I don't want it as much as I do because if I did, it would get done. So uh, I think anytime we got a wrong idea about the Bible, we we have a wrong idea about who we are and who God is. Yep. And uh, we, uh, you know, we have to take responsibility for our actions. Yeah, that's because, right. That's right. You know, we're, we're going to be judged based off of our our actions. Mm-hmm. You know, right. and and there's going to be people who are. Who, he brought up the fact that the, um, you know, the banquet parable in the Bible. You know, God, God's like, you know, uh, go out there and, and get the people that I. I want at the banquet. They right. all make mm-hmm. excuses. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, I, I bought a field. Oh, I've married a wife. I, I can't come. Well, they all make excuses. He said, "He said God is not a God who oh, you try and he, he actually closes the door and, and doesn't say people. The door is open. Right. People right. are the ones who make the excuses and have a million reasons not to show up. Right. So, uh, then, then one day when he when he shuts the door on you. And you're unaware of that. Then when you turn around and you try and get in, you can't get in. The door is closed. Right. And I was like, oh, I mean, it, you know, it, 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 it's like a hard truth, but it's like the truth is God has this open door that no man will shut. So one day he is going to get up and say, you have scorned my Holy Spirit long enough. You have uh, <laughs> rejected my son long enough. And he'll close the door. Yeah, amen. Um, almost reluctantly, because he, like I said, he came down here to save sinners. He did not come down here to hold a carrot in front of our faces and say, hey, but you can't have it. Right. So I was like, wow, you know, and, and that's changed my perspective on God. When stuff doesn't happen, I have to reevaluate and say, what are you doing, Andre? Are you, are you doing what you're supposed to do? Right. And that's we have more of a responsibility over our sin than I think we think we have. Uh, Amen. Amen. At, you know, not to bring any condemnation or anything like that on anybody. That's, that's the, not no. Tell, 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 the tell the truth, truth, girl. Tell the truth. Don't hold back. Yeah, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Mm-hmm. Tell the truth and shame the devil. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. You know what? I, I got to say this. This is this is what's wrong with the so-called church. The church, as I knew it, no longer exists. I know that because I've been searching for a physical church. And there, no, everybody is under this. What is it? 501? What is that thing? 501c3. That's right. I don't mess yeah, with you know, it. Well, we can't lay hands. Everybody that said that they were a pastor or they were Christians, I'm starting to find out. You were never a Christian. You were never a pastor because you had a form of godliness, but you denied the power thereof. And this is the word of God I'm speaking. And I'm tired of this. I get butt hurt because you tell me the truth. Uh, I'm your enemy now because I tell you the truth. Hello. So that, you know what? Hello. You know, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you the truth. That's, That's why right. I love uh, listening to Sister Pat. Well, the last message she gave that um, was a hard, it was hard. And she said it was hard for her to do that because she, she didn't want to do it, but a lot of people, and I went back and looked at it and listened to that message again, a lot of people responded to that. A lot of people watched it. A lot of people, that's what they're looking for. You know, they we want to hear the truth. I don't want to hear, oh, you are so blessed, and God's going to bless you with a house and a husband and two kids and this and that and the other, and you're just wonderful. You're just fine. You, there's nothing wrong with you. All this lying and stuff just so I can get your money and all that other kind of stuff. God is so angry. I'm telling you, so mad and so, so, so grieved. Because the church has turned its back on him. 
He has turned his, but not all of us. That's why I said earlier, he has a remnant. He has a remnant. He has, there are, there are some children of his that really love him. But for the majority, God said, the great falling away has, is here. I know you all have got to look around your lives and see it every day. It's here. Mm -hmm. So I cherish, I cherish each and every one of you that come here. You can, I cherish you because not many people really want to do this. Like she said, like Andrea said, you don't really want it. You just say you want it. Right. You don't really want it. You want it. You want to blame, and and really, what the boil is what boils down to, and this is where I've come in my Christian life, in my life as a child of God. The problem, God ain't my problem. I'm my problem. Right. I want to know what my problem is. Like 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 you come, you got a problem. Look in the mirror, Lynette. You're the problem. Thank and you. That's what it is, and I I can take it. I can take it because the truth will set me free, and I am no longer uh, um, delusional or, or self-deceived. I'm the one that's messed up and needs to get right with God. Right. Not the other way around. Right. I'm out. I, I remember when I was going through a low ebb in my walk with the Lord, and I was getting weaker and weaker in my resolve for holiness, and I was slipping. Then I started sliding. Then I started just all out failing. And I said, Lord, I have to be honest with you. I want this more than I want that. So I'm asking you to readjust my emotions, adjust, readjust what's going on in me. I don't know why I keep clinging to that. I don't get it all, but I'm asking you to readjust and clean me and, yeah. and heal me. Don't let me go while I'm in my foolishness. Yeah. I'm caught up yeah. and I know that yeah. I want the sin more than I want what's right. So I'm asking you to realign me so that I can, it'll be easier for me to line up with you. Because right now, I'm really having a hard time wanting what's right over knowing what's wrong. And I didn't make any excuses. The other thing I did was I stopped preaching the word. And I said, I will not mount a pulpit when sin is in my life. Yes, ma'am. And like Andrea yes, said, and like Lynette said, it, it, you either want it or you don't. If you don't want it, yes. but you want God, don't give up on it. Don't throw in the towel. Ask God to realign you so that you yes. can want. You can hunger yes. and thirst after righteousness. Because yes. we need the help of the Holy Ghost to hunger and thirst after righteousness, y'all. Right. The yes. Holy That's Ghost right. has to call us pull us and woo us in order for us to repent and come to the Lord in the first place. So when we're okay. walking with the Lord, we have to remember we need the Lord to stay. We need the yeah. Lord to, st to stay that path. We need the Lord to yeah. keep us on the straight and narrow when our flesh wants that and our flesh right. wants him and our flesh wants her. We need to know. Yeah. That God is stronger than our flesh. And when we are weak, he is strong. And we have to go to him, not give up. Don't give up and just do what you're going to do. No, keep going to him. Keep going to him with your hands dirty. Keep going to him with your body dirty. Keep going to him with your mind soiled. Keep going to him with your heart torn. Keep going to him with all your weaknesses and sins. Until oh, your diaper gets taken off and you really get changed. Then when, you, when you, he cleans you up, you'll get the victory thank, again. But whatever you do, you, don't give up on the walk. Because yes. you are stumbling over yourself. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. That, that's thank what he, he's teaching me right now is that uh, I was failing, I was failing, I was failing. So what I ended up doing was saying, okay, maybe I'll lower the standard <laughs> because I I couldn't, if I, if I can't do it myself, so how about I just make all these excuses and say that, oh, well, this is fine. God doesn't mind this. God must not mind that. And I started to depend on myself and, and tell him what was right and what was wrong and what's sin and what isn't. And he showed me that, you know, um, Whoops. He's been showing me that I've been making a lot of compromises Whoops. in areas that he don't compromise in. Whoops. And so it's like you're either going to win at this war or you're going to lose. And that, and that has eternal consequences. 
but we have to trust the Lord that he can do what he says he's going to do. Right. We can't just sit there and, and change it and say, okay, well, um, yeah. this isn't happening fast enough, so I'm going to pretend yeah. that this is fine or I'll just do it this way. Like, that's not how it works. And I mean, that's hard, too, because it's a continually... You have to continually hate your sin. Like you have to continually yeah. stay in a in a position in your heart where you hate your sin. And this world wants to get us to want to party all the time. This world wants us to get up from our knees and go to the dance floor. Right. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. shoot, sometimes we want to do. I'm Thank like, man, you. I'm sick and tired of feeling like crap. I'm about to turn this TV on and ignore my problems. Doesn't make it go away, but that's what this that's what that's that's what we have to continually fight until whatever happens, yeah. you know, until the Lord does it in us, we've got to stay in that place and and be honest about it too. Right. Like we can't yeah. we can't make it seem like it's smaller than it is. We've got to be honest with God at all times. Right. This is not yeah. okay. I am stuck. I'm in sin. Right. Help me. Yeah, may right. I pray, may, I, may I pray, Pat, for everybody? Go right on me. ahead, girl. Heavenly Father, I come to the throne of grace in Jesus' name, and I ask for forgiveness for all of my sins and shortcomings. I mean, everything I've ever said or done has been wrong. And, Father, I realize, and some of you realize that I need to be transparent, naked before you, not hiding or withholding anything from you. And it hasn't been easy. It's been hard, Lord, because of pride, because of whatever I thought I was or whatever. But I thank you, Father, that you have been so patient and and long-suffering with all of us because you are. You're long-suffering, you're patient, and you look past our faults and you you look at our needs. But I know that you require truth and you require humility and you require us to hate our sins. And to uh, totally turn away from it. And Lord, I'm asking you to please help all of us here on this phone and Andrea and Pat and Kathy and everybody, Matt and Peter, everybody, Lord, help us put a hatred, to, to take the taste of whatever it is that pulls us away. Whether it could be something that's not even sin, but something that's distracting. Lord, we really, really need to focus on you. Help us, Father. Help us, Holy Spirit, because we cannot, we cannot do this on our own we can't we need you we need you in this hour we need you we need you we need you and we we want to be right like i know in romans it says somewhere the thing that i hate i that i don't want to do i do and the thing that i I need to do i don't do i know i'm not saying right well but i know you know what i mean yes um lord i know we all struggle with that and i'm just asking you to please by your spirit uh, me and Pat were talking, as you know, the other night about Ezekiel. We need that. We need you to take off these hearts and give us brand new ones, creating us a clean heart and renew within us a right spirit. And so you will, you said, Lord, I will cause you to walk in. Lord, we, we literally need you to, to, to help us do this. So that's all I wanted to pray for, for all of us here right now, that you would do it right now for us. And those of us that are speaking, you know, you and ways for where, you know, whether it be a dream or we want uh, something special. I'm just asking you to do that because you are all we got. You are all we got. You are all we got. We are in this world. We're not of this world. And you are our daddy and we need you, Father God. We need you so much. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, amen. In Jesus' Thanks. name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. That was rich. <laughs> <laughs> 